Oh, yes. <laughs> Let me just do one little thing right here. <sighs> it's that time of the year again, folks. All the bases are full. The game is tied. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I really don't. But uh, And I know you can't hear these other folks. But anyway, I know what y'all come for. And I'm about to give it to you. So, for the smoothest vaping transition in the vape show game, here we go. God damn it, shit is smooth right there, man. How the fuck do you do that, man? Man, I mean, I, you do it. You do it so good, I can't even see what you're doing. I know it's awesome. It's just like, I, 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 I don't know. I, I have no idea. Anyway, what's happening, folks? It is the a true vapor show number two two nine. We're almost at that two thirty mark. But anyway. I guess before we get into all that good stuff right there, let me hand it off to Mr. Vaporesso Mark. I love that ad there, brother. Take it away. They sent me the best Christmas ever present ever, a Jewish Vaporesso hat. Thank you, Vaporesso. We got the top side light with the uh, drop V2. Bang, shaboom. We got the Vaporesso, whatever it's called, with the... Uh, Asmodus RTA, don't know the name of it, don't really care. Anani. Uh, got the Cuckoo with the Coco. We got the Evil Dildo with the BTFC. Then we got the Heracles from Sense. We got some Puerto Rican juice. We got some, I don't even know what the hell that shit is, Aqua, some shit like that. Some you ain't even vaped. Strawberry cornbread, that shit is really good. And then we got some. Lupa, yeah, take that, it away, Michael Vapes. And the Stop seal, fucking cut me off. <laughs> and the seal hadn't even been broke on that shit. But anyway, take it away, Mike. <laughs> yep, the bottle's half empty. Yep, the other bottle. Which bottle? I don't know. Oh, this, yeah, this is broke. It's gonna take me like six months to finish this whole bottle. Oh, well, yeah. is it? <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Damn, a lot of people in the chat want to know about drama. You guys came to the wrong channel if you're looking for drama. <laughs> anyway, what am I vaping on tonight? I am vaping on the Falcon uh, something, version 2, top side, light, in non-squonk mode with some taffy splash. I'm also vaping on this Mechmot. Just came in today, Infinity, uh, I think it's called the Infinity RCM by Russian Mechanics. Pretty dope. Got the Asgard 25 or the Asgard Mini on top. Uh, liquid inside here. I am rocking some. Where are you? Where are you? There you go. Some windowsill. Also vaping on the uh, Hunani. <laughs> I, Mark. I just can't. I, Mark's got a whole bunch of costumes ready to go. He does, man, at the drop of the fucking hat. Uh -huh. So I got the Punani on the uh, Duke V2 Ultim. And in there we have some Sabores del Encante, the Pineapple MTL inside that. Uh, also vaping on the, um, what do you call this again? <laughs> the the, uh, the Dyadic. The there we go, I got it. With the Dang. In here, I have windowsill. Actually, this one had windowsill. My bad, I confused them. The mech mod had the uh, dinner lady strawberry macaroon in it. And uh, intake dual boxer classic with the raspberry custard as usual. Little mech action. We got the Mars and the cuckoo. Cuckoo. That's cuckoo. it. Take it away, Sid. <laughs> Shit, I feel like a Sid right now. Uh, tonight, still rocking this little, little, whatever the jewel you want to call it. Uh, the tribute with the Anani. So many vibrant, colorful names here. Just got this in tonight. Just came in the mail. Got to thank my man, Mr. Brad. He got me an up-to-date breeze. So this 
<laughs> defective one is fixing to go in the trash, which I should have threw it there anywhere. But there is the new breeze. Still looks the same, but no more auto draw. Simply, you got to hit the button now on it. Uh, what else? I got the little Christmas tree right there from Sense. And probably got some other shit laying around here. I'm vaping down there everything Batman's got, but I did try a new one and a new device. I got the coffee and milk in the NXT, and I gotta say, fucking badass. Before I start ranting and raving on shit, I gotta say, if y'all have not tried the MTL line out yet from EMB and Mr. Batman, this right here is the best. It is. The, the MTL line is the best. It's better than the first batch. Uh, and I'm only saying that because I love to do mouth to lung shit now. And if you're going to get a mouth to lung juice, I think this by far is really kicking ass on this shit so far. So, woo! Oh, 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 oh. What, what's Terry constantly been typing in? Terry and somebody else have been saying that Mark has been talking behind my back mark mike talking behind your back <laughs> what's going on now what, what have i oh, i'm talking behind mark's back or is it you talking behind my back behind your back wow you yeah i guess so apparently so well, what good. have you been saying we should probably save this for thursday all right we got more drama <laughs> here we go as long as my name ain't fucking attached to it that's all i give a fuck about but anyway Oh, uh, I saw uh, Mr. Just Right one, Joel, in the chat. Can someone boot him? Here you yeah, go. So he needs to Thank you. All right, <laughs> folks. All right. <laughs> Let's get this shit straight right here. Because I'm at a point now that, I mean, it was all fun of games at first. There is no fucking drama with Joel. Folks. Mark made a fucking comment weeks ago on a show just fucking around, and we messed around with it some. But people have gotten to the point that their buttholes are drawn up thinking that, oh my God, what in the fuck could be going on? The funniest part about this shit is, is me and Joel were just talking the other day, and I said... If I was doing a live feed and we were both on it and we were both just kind of chit-chatting back and forth and everybody was to see it, how would you think that me and him or anybody else is pissed at one another? So there you go. Forget uh, about that. I mean, we did the – came on on a Sunday, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sunday. Do you think he would actually sit there and do his buffet if we had beef and drama? Yeah. Or, I, just drama start up. People don't get it. Dude, I mean... It's a joke, people. It's a, it was a joke. It was a, basically a joke. It was a test to see how many people really want drama. And, and there's people that are pissed because they really want it. Yeah, and I mean... They really are, want that drama. There's some people that are fucking pissed talking about, yeah. oh my God, if y'all don't get this shit out, I'm unsubbing your ass and all this. Now I'm like, well, fuck, you need to unsub then because there ain't shit going on. But any uh, goddamn way. But to oh, tell you the truth, there actually is drama. We're not going to talk about it today. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to do that on Thursday. We're saving night. that for another episode. <laughs> we want we want Joel to be in here face to face <laughs> with the accusations and drama that we have on him. One other thing too that I thought about before the show gets started, really cranking up hard here. Any donations made tonight is going. I will donate those donations to the town of Sheboygan. Because we, we got a lot of Sheboygan followers in here now. And I want to <laughs> give back to the town of Sheboygan because I hear that they're not going to have their little Christmas parade because it can't yep. be funded right now. So I'm going to donate those funds to them so they can have their Christmas parade. So, hey, I mean, just call it what you want to call it. So... 90% of you people knew it was a joke, but the 10% that actually took it seriously, holy fucking shit. Y'all got trolled. Yes. Y'all yeah. got trolled. And the sad thing was that really wasn't even a... It wasn't even good. Like It wasn't. Just... It was just fucking around. Now, I mean, anybody's capable of doing some shit to really make you wonder, but hell, we were just kind of bullshitting around, and folks were like, man, they were fucking pissed. Mm-hmm. 
Serious. Jeez. Woo. But anyway, so on to the, the next line of business. I hope everybody's having a good Tuesday evening. Man, we are down to what, like, what is it? Like two and a half weeks till Christmas time? I can't believe Christmas is almost here. So one thing I did want to do this evening, and I know I could probably wait a little bit longer, but you know what? I feel like doing it tonight. And I, I hadn't even even said anything to the guys about it, but I figured we could do maybe just a few things here. Why don't we talk about what are some of our best things we've gotten so far for 2019? Okay, before we do that, someone said, no, we, I didn't say that you guys are trolls. I said, you all got trolled. We trolled you. Yes. That's what we <laughs> There we go. A little confusion there. Uh, uh, what was that now? What do we get? What? Uh, so far, since pretty much the year's over with, probably not going to see much of anything else come out. And I know we're going to do this off and on, maybe on some other shows, but I'm kind of curious. What's some of the best vaping gear that you've gotten or seen come out this year? Something that you've... Let me put it to you like this. For y'all in chat, y'all write in what y'all have got that you think that is like just freaking killed it this year. But I want us to kind of say, since we get like multiple products in, especially Mike and Mark that do constant reviews, what is that one product that you've got that when the camera's off, you still enjoy using it the most? Hmm. What, what would you say, Mark? Let me check my PayPal real quick. Oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Mike. I did. <laughs> That's all right. Go ahead. He wants to check his PayPal. I don't yeah. know. Did this come out this year, Boxer Classic? Yes. I haven't put this down since I got it in my hands. So it, this had to have been beginning of the year, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Somewhere, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was this year. I just can't think of exactly yeah. when. I haven't put this down. I've been using this thing constantly, obviously, with the intake duel. So this is like my thingy. Uh, what has come out this year that's wowed me? Yeah. Uh, looks wise, what's wowed me is something that's been recent. Uh, but there's a, a few things. That's the thing. There's a few things. I gotta say the Duke. These things have wowed me just looks wise. They're just beautiful build quality. Yeah. They kind of wowed me. Uh, This wowed me. Right SQ. here. An, an SQ that's a top side. That wowed me. Uh, Mex. i really digging this. Even though I just got it today, this thing is dope. Look at that. See the where it says infinity? Yeah. The battery color, I mean, the battery wrap determines the color you'll see through it. So I got a Samsung 30T, so look how it stands oh, out. Oh, nice, nice. I was wondering how it was. I thought you were about to say that it lights up or some shit. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, this thing is just, it's got a beautiful firing button on here. So for mechs, this thing right here is nice. I mean, there's been other mechs that have really impressed me, but I, because this is in my hand right now, this is impressing me. What about you, Marcus? Ooh. Ooh. Um, Aegis X would have to be one. I think that came out this year. Yes, it did. It did. It did. X, maybe the Aspire Muleus. But even though I don't use them every single day, this right How here. How is a Muleus? It's oh. like the billet, like a billet box kind of. Where's it at? I've never even heard of this thing. The yeah. only person I've ever heard say it actually is just you. I thought you had a fake name or something. <laughs> you up. It's so good. I don't know where it's at. I don't know. I, I I have to sit there and think because there's been so much good stuff, and I always bad with like with dates. Like the shit I like is it came out like three years ago. Yep. Ooh, thank you for the donation there, Mister Just Right One. I got to hang out with each of you except Fagan this year. I'm blessed and thankful for that. Y'all's friendship, mentorship has been a true blessing. Same to you, brother. My man. My man, Mr. Just Right. And uh, by the way, I have lots of drama and beef about Joel, which we... I'll be talking about on a future live show. <laughs> but you know what? Funny enough that I was sitting here thinking about that. 
as soon as I ask that question, my mind's kind of drawn a blank because I'm sitting here looking around trying to think of the stuff that I've actually got my hands on this year that I've used the most. And you know, surprisingly, because y'all know me, I love pod systems and I'm constantly rocking them because I use quite a bit of stuff. I got to admit, the Boxer, I've used it a shit ton. So I guess you'd have to kind of break it down in categories. But dude, one thing that I have not quit using is the fucking Caliburn. <laughs> well, the Caliburn didn't come out this year. I know, but that's the funny thing. With everything that has come out pod system wise this year, I'm still picking up the Caliburn yeah, over every fucking thing. And that's same here. So <laughs> so exactly. I mean, I went I talked about it a little bit too much. If that one thing for me that it has to be this. This is like every single day, but the Caliburn is also there yeah. with that. That's Those are like the two. We have uh, Intake, Boxer, and Caliburn, and it's, obviously the Coco now. And it's crazy that one pot system out of what? Thousands of pot systems that have come out. That's the one that many people are still reaching for, and... I'm not going to lie to y'all at all. I wish I would have had my hands on the input on the caliber or if I'd have been associated with it because that thing is badass. And to this day, I still see people constantly in Facebook groups and everywhere else going, yeah, I'm still using my caliber to this day. Love it. So, you know what I got coming to me? What's that? I'm not 100% if, I'm, if it's coming or not. I just got the email. But uh, a carrying case, a power bank carry case for the Caliburn. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. You put the Caliburn in, and it charges the Caliburn. So it's kind of like the way the bow was. Yes. Yep. That so would be nice. I'm figuring it's going to be like a slip-in yep. to the USB, and it sits inside. That's fucking awesome. I so see hopefully, the, the, hopefully, sorry, the, the case itself, because I didn't really, really look. But hopefully it holds pods in there too. So this way you can have two different pods with liquids or a spare pod inside or something. That would be awesome. Yep. I see Shake out there. What's going on, brother? Hey. Mr. Shake. Uh, one other shout out, and I always mean to do this at the beginning of the show now. It's kind of getting to be a traditional thing. Big shout out to my boy Marvin Norton. I know he's sitting his ass at that fucking retirement home with all those other fools sitting there watching this on the big screen. And I know he's going, look, that's my boy right there, ST, on the big screen. So big shout out to you, Marvin. You old fuck. Uh, Ashley <laughs> asked what this was. That's the Mars from Gas Mods. The video will be up tomorrow, Ashley. Looks like a mini topside. Yeah. Oh, big shout out to Johnny Drip. See him out there in chat. What's up, Johnny? Johnny. Felix, what's going on, brother? Feli's out there? Feli's out there. He's out there, as he likes to say, he's out there lurking around. So. Oh, what? Pam says Caliburn came out February of 2019. No, it no. didn't. No, it didn't. All you got to do is look at my review. If you do a search on YouTube, Caliber, and see when I posted that video, you got an idea. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. It, maybe it did. Maybe oh, my did. God. Maybe it did. I'm sitting here like a jackass. Hold on. Yeah, I'll, check it out. I'll tell you hold real Because <laughs> I was the first person to review it, so I'll be closest to, I guess. Maybe they didn't go, to, go on sale until February then. No, I think it came out in January, dude. Oh my god. I'm gonna feel like a real fucking ass. What is this shit? Yes, nine oh my god. Why was I thinking last year? It feels like it, right? I am sorry. It is the caliber, goddammit. <laughs> there you go. Pam checks it. She's like the review came out February of 2019. There you go. Dude, you know what? You know what's sad right now? At least with me, I'm I'm gonna blame my shit to age. Damn it, Marvin, your shit's fucking rubbing off on me right now. Yep. Oh. All right. Well, the fucking Caliburn's got it then, goddammit. That's been the most used freaking thing with me. Uh, if everything that I've got sitting here, 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 up on the shelf, the Caliburn's got used more than anything. Some people are probably going, I can't believe that bullshit, but you better believe it because that's what's yep. got used the most. I've gone through, well, I hadn't gone through 
I've had at least six of them. I've tore two of them up, and that was on my part. But uh, every fucking day. I, don't even... I still have both of my original Caliburns from the review. They still work beautiful. And the Coco, since reviewing it, that pod, I'm still on the same exact pod. That's I'm still crazy. vaping that same pod from testing it, reviewing it till now. It's still in here, and I vape it every day. I'm going to show you all something. It lasts. Down here, uh, and there's, I have got boxes of Caliburns, and I've got fucking boxes of fucking pods. I mean, empty pods. Ready. I mean, that's how much I use it. I mean, I got fucking cats coming on. Get the hell out of there. Get. Uh, Get it, boy. Yeah, well, the Caliburn's got it. Hands down, the Caliburn won this year. So, anyway, I'm going to tell you something right now. As much as I love the flavor on this fucking thing, I keep grabbing it, wanting to hit it like it's got auto draw, and there's no auto draw left. I keep forgetting to hit the fucking button on it, but. Missed that auto draw. Oh, shit. Well, man, we're about to wrap, wrap up this freaking year, dude. I don't guess there's anything else that's new going to hit the market. I, I wouldn't say what. Well, we got, what, about two, three weeks? Oh, that, what about that crown pod system? Is that coming out by the end of the year? I don't know. I don't know when that's oh, coming no. out. They also got another thing coming out, you will. It's a, a it looks like a power bank. It looks like a small mod, but you put a 100 milliamp hour pod system inside there and it charges it hmm. it's kind of that really didn't make sense they made a hundred a hundred milliamp hour yeah what's instead the of making basically a power bank but they made it it's weird you gotta like you gotta find it if you go on ul's uh i think i saw it on um ul's instagram you can wow. see the picture there of it it didn't make kind of sense to Thank me you. Thank you for the donation there, Sheboygan Adult Store. Sheboygan absolutely loves ST. You know what? I love Sheboygan. And even though you're like a, a, a separate section of Sheboygan since you're in the UK, uh, I still love you there. <laughs> Sheboygan, yum. Uh, a lot of good products have come out this year, though. We've talked about it. And this is... Typically, I don't do those videos of like what was the best, what was the worst, yada, 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 because I don't get near the product in to maybe be, I would say, fair about things, more or less how Mark and Mike, because they get all the stuff. But we have talked about this. There has been so many good products to come out this year. You're either going to sit through a long video of stuff or you're just going to have to maybe overlook a few yep. things, but man. Uh, Dave Mack, the 3 of Ape has not for sale. That's, they're not really for sale. You could buy them now. You're not going to get them until February of next year, maybe, or whenever they, after they release. They always do that. Hell you got yeah. a donation. Joel, Joel Ortiz, happy holidays. May, 2000, May 2020 bring you all many blessings. No lie there. No lie there because we all know what's rolling around in May. So, uh, the RBA released in January. Damn, I thought it was released already. Holy shit. What? The Ages Boost, the RBA section that they, uh, they sent out to reviewers. I thought it would be out by now. I guess not. Richard is saying January. I've got a boost coming to me, so I'm kind of curious. I know I'm a little late to try it, but I had to try it, so. As long as it's before February when they go on their vacation, because it's going to be a while when they come back before they get started up again. Oh, ID Voca says, uh, Mech of the Year, the Overlord, or the question mark? Uh, ID, I don't know, man, but I don't know if you've seen this one yet. I don't know if you just walked in here, but that's the uh, Infinity. Russian Customs, RCM. This firing switch is badass. Oh, my God. It's so, oh. So, hold on. Oh, now, oh. did the Vindicator come out this year? Yeah. 
Okay, and that's the one that you've kind of rant and raved over for a good long while. So is I it, love the Vindicator. I'm it, sure it, the Vindicator is this year. Is it better than the Vindicator, the one you just got? <laughs> Close? You got to wait for my best of 2019 video, which will be up this month, maybe next week. I like to put my video up right before uh, Christmas. Yeah. Either uh, Christmas or right after Christmas, in between Christmas Day and New Year's Day, somewhere in there, just in case something comes and it's like, holy shit. Yeah. Uh, Johnny, NVE is happening in March. I mean, it is set up. No, I am not going. And I, I, I think a big reason why I'm not going this thing is going to be like a half and half show. It's going to be weed on one side and some vaping on the other side of it. Well, and yep. I just kind of, not that I'm against any of the, the weed stuff. I just, it, it's going to be condensed and I just don't think it's going to be. Just be honest. You're going to be too many potheads there. And you don't feel like putting up with them. No, it ain't that at all because, uh, I put up with you every day, but, uh, no, I just, my honest opinion, and we've talked about this too, I think vape expos are just kind of dead now. They might still be there in the States, but they're just not going to be the way that they used to be. And that's just simply because of everything that's going on here lately. I think you'll have a lot of people that's either just not going to do it regardless. You're going to have people that are scared that don't want to fool with it anymore. And I, I just... I don't think that's going to be what they were. So we're doing a live button disassembly. Yep. They don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Uh, Home your own shit. Uh, Phyllis, you, you've asked if you could ask a question a few times. Just ask it. Ask it, and I'll hopefully I see it. Uh, is it a constant contact switch? Someone asked. Not sure. <laughs> I haven't opened it up yet. Like I said, I just got it in today. I haven't uh, messed around with it. To look inside. Well, we've got what? About four, what, 440 in here right now? Here's a good question. It's happening anyway, but I just want to get a little preview to this. How much hate am I going to get on this video? Because it's coming here pretty soon. The uh, that. I can't wait to watch the video. The Bantam Box. How much hate am I going to get on that? Because I started realizing, well, people are going to hate on this just simply because at the end of the day, they're going to say, well, it's a clone billet box. It's not a clone, though. Billet Box, they don't have an 18350 version. They don't. But people still want to associate to say, well, hey, they stole that idea, yada, yada. But... Again, I, I'm just curious. The, the video is still happening, but I'm just kind of curious to see how many folks are like die hard about, oh, don't do that shit. Uh, someone said I was doing coil porn. Actually, I was showing somebody asked a question what coils I like to use in the intake, and that's uh, what I was showing. Coil pornography. Oh, Kid Bass says he got that one. Oh, does he? Um, Phyllis asks, Mike Vapes, is the bulk RTA in your top five of this year? Yes. <laughs> Definitely it is. Definitely. Now, is it the number one? No, I think the intake duel is. There you go. <laughs> Are you allowed to have your own product as a number one? Like, are reviewers allowed to do that or not, you think? <clears throat> Look, I'll put it this way. Uh, RDAs. What's my favorite RDA of this year that came out? It's not the recurve duel. I think there were others that were better. So I'm being honest there. So why can't I be honest? Even though you can't really do that when you're doing your best of. But uh, I don't know. It's just biased, but uh, I'm being just straight out. I mean, Stephen, yeah, that is kind of true. He says at this point, almost everything is a clone of a clone. I mean, in some fashions, yeah, that is true. Yeah. But some people kind of, and, and of course, this is obviously not a one-to-one -one by any means because it, it's not. But it still has been pulled from that 
original idea of the billet box. Uh, oh, shit, there's fucking PK. PK, you still out riding around fucking yep. texting and shit as you're driving? Just curious on that. <laughs> uh, oh, and I did forget to... Sean, no, I have not checked that out yet. Sean's always asking gun stuff in here. I need to get a fucking gun show going one day. Me and, it'll just be me and Sean in here because nobody else will care to watch that. But uh, What? Say the word... I'm not going to say that. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> I said it in my head. And I'm like, nope, not saying it. I'm not saying I eat a cock. <laughs> Mark was really kind of sounding it out in his head at first. <laughs> you know what? I hear this through a lot of people. And Mike's got one he's using right now. The Asgard Mini. I've heard through many of people. That's a fucking a pretty badass RDA. I never got that one. Never had it. Would it, I mean, Mike, at the drop of gun, which thing? I mean, is it something that you think's pretty, pretty fucking cool or not? Yeah, I love the Asgard. Mark, did you ever get the Asgard? I don't think so. I don't believe so. Let's uh, bring it back. Uh, love for Paul's ass. Mark S T Fagan, which I think he meant to say, Mike. Uh, which of which one of you have ever smoked marijuana, and what was your experience? I believe we've all had our experience with it, and they're probably all the same. We got, we got a, uh, we got hot, motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, I haven't. It's been sixteen years, dude. Me, dude. Since I smoked, and I just don't remember. Man, it's been a lot. Right. Folks won't believe me when I say this, and I've said it a million times. I have not smoked pot since I was in my senior year of high school. And that was the end of it. I quit. Yeah, I think four years ago, four or five years ago for me, probably. Uh, Dennis J., yes, those coils on the site. Shit. Uh, someone said the, for this year, the Rebirth RTA. The Rebirth came out last year. There you go. We got We got that one on deck right there, so... Uh, this is the problem. I got to go through the list and see what came out this year as opposed to last year because I get shit mixed up. That's <laughs> what year it came out. Yeah. Christopher said it's been 15 minutes for ST. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> for uh, me, this year this year was the recurve RDA that I released and the uh, <clears throat> intake duel. I, I really should have thought about that question before I asked because for what I've got, I would literally have to kind of sit there and look at things and kind of size them out, but man, there was so much stuff that came out this year was just like it was like it was good. I mean, it was hard to find shit that was like, oh my god, this is like a hunk of shit. Except for now, of course, we've all had our hands on a lot of pod systems. I've had some pretty janky, shitty pod systems come to my hands, but you know, other than that. Because you got everybody and their freaking mama. I mean, there's companies I have never heard of that hit me up like, hey, you want to review pod? And I'm like, okay, who the fuck are you? <laughs> and Mark just takes them. If they hit Mark up, Mark's on that shit. I'll review anything. I'm the new heathen. I'll review anything. Do you? So, Mark, is tomorrow the... Uh, Day that you're ungrounded? Uh, yep, yeah, hoping. I should be at like 6 a.m. They said 20, they said one week, and one week will be tomorrow at 6 a.m. So I got my videos lined up, ready to go. Unlock that shit. What's the, uh, what's the first video we're going to see from you? Topside light. We're going to throw that under the bus. Then the cocoa, we're throwing that under the bus. And then the Heracles, not the Heracles, the fucking... Ah, the Falcon 2, we're throwing it under the bus. Wow, everything's getting thrown under the bus. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, Pam, yes, you're correct. I, I meant the Rebirth RDA. Sorry, the Rebirth RDA was in uh, 2018. The RTA was uh, early 2019. I think it was uh, released during when I was in the UK. May? March? 
No, April. April was. That is one RTA that I wouldn't, oh, right. I wouldn't have mind trying was that tripod one. I see Vape Boy talking about that. I've heard a lot of good things about that one. Uh, I'm trying to sit there. Yes, take, Chris. Quick glance of what. I don't know, What's man. that? What are we talking about? I'm just sitting here looking around, trying to think of something that kind of rattles my brain to think, oh, shit, yeah, this one came out this year, and it was badass, but it's like... What, RTA, RDA? Just or any or fucking RTA? thing, and I'm just, it's like, man, there's just too much good shit that came out. <laughs> uh, Freddie B., I'm going to stick my finger in your butt. Thank you. What's up with that? Uh, he's just... Mark he's rising gonna, the share. He's going to get a finger in his butt. Well, he might, he might actually enjoy that. <laughs> I got you, Timothy. I actually got. I'm gonna actually get my. Uh, let me see which one. Probably this one here. I'm gonna get my rebirth back on. The Jones. There we go. Oh my God, Cheryl! Did you go out and get a Jones because Mark reviewed it? Please say you didn't do that. Which I know you had to because I don't. I think there's two people in this country that have a Jones, and it would be you and Mark. <laughs> Mark threw his away right after the video. <laughs> Uh, it is disposable. Thank you very much. Thank you. It, it goes you. when you're done. I mean, right after the video, he threw it out right away. I did vape it for a whole week, so I had to throw it out. Dun, 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 dun. Can I get a finger in mine, too? Yes, Alex, you sure can. See, I don't know if that would even be tougher, because uh, Mr. Nick says, okay, now, worst thing that came out this year. Ooh. Yeah, I know. It's like <laughs> the Nada. <laughs> was it was the Nada this year? No, not this year. Thank you. Uh... <laughs> the worst for me was the um, the pod system that did the ultrasonic. It uses an ultrasonic coil or some shit. That was the worst pod system ever. Face of the planet. Horrible. Uh, Phyllis, what did you ask? I'm sorry, I didn't see it. And if I scroll back, I probably won't find it. So just retype it in there, brother. The Jones. Don't be talking shit about the Jones. Jones yo. <laughs> Cheryl, please type in chat and tell me if you bought that shit because of Mark. Jones and for the Jones. She bought the Jones? The Jones is a nice disposable. Mark, give her, refund her money. It's your fault she bought it. <laughs> Did she buy the Jones, like the extra one you had? Nope. I've hit them both. I've enjoyed them both. What was the first rebuildable pod that Mark reviewed? That was the worst. That was the... Oh, man, that's a good question. I forgot the name of it. Oh, uh, will the Z-Beep pod tank work with new gold RDTL? That or I do not know, Phyllis. I cannot answer that one. Oh, the Snow Wolf rebuildable pod. There you go. That was pretty... That's the first of its kind, but it was pretty bad. P PK got a evil dildo. They're nice, aren't they? See, I told you. You uh, well worth it. You. Boop, 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 boop. Joseph, hit me up on the email again and go in a little bit more depth. I'll have to go check for you on that. I don't, I don't know what's happened. Oh, yeah. Uh, and speaking of that real quick, too, just so people, and it's, it just, it happens in this. Uh, Camelot has kind of stepped out of the game on this show for a bit. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how long, and it's, it is what it is. It's all good, but that, what Camelot has stepped off the scene oh. of this show for a bit. So uh, it's just going to be Brad's now, so, but it's all good. Oh, good in the hood, baby cakes. What liquid should I put in the Rebirth RTA? Hmm. Go with some 12 milligrams of Batman's juice. Oh, Cheryl really? said she'd rather use the V-Guy disposal. You know, that's one thing, and I know... I don't know how many companies have disposable pod systems... But I did get hit up by one the other day that I am going to do the review on their disposable stuff. Here we go. Because I never really fooled with anything disposable until I went out to Cali 
And then when I got my chance to mess around with some of them out there, I was like, you know what? Hey, it's not that I really accept what you're going to do with it afterwards when it runs out and you just chunk it in the trash. But hey, I mean, we've we've gone through that whole spell and I'm not going to do it again. Not but, that Tough Puff is like the most popular vape shop in the area. But when I went in there and I asked them, what's what, what do they sell the most? They said disposable pod systems. That's their big seller. And, and I'm going to tell you something. For people that enjoy, like a pod system, or if you want that quick little fix, disposables are a damn good option. And there's Mark's Christmas gift from Vaporesso right there. He got a thing of stickers. He got him a little beanie. And why don't you show him the, the big major prize you got? So they gave me a mod, and they said, oh, we're going to put your name on the mod. I'm like, Yes! I got the mod, I'm looking at it, I'm trying to think, okay, where the fuck did they put my name at? And I can't find it. And so you look really close with a magnifying glass at the very bottom. <laughs> and they and misspelled the it, didn't they? <laughs> you could barely see it, but it says Vape and Fagin there at the very bottom. Thank you, Vape Resso. And, and it was one of those little stencils where they just rub a pencil over it and it fucking... <laughs> yeah. I can't rub too hard on that, it'll, it'll wipe off. <laughs> Oh, shit. I think I enjoy the hat the most, though. This is a, I'm a big fan of the hat. I am Jewish, so it kind of fits well. Or it's a Polish hat, my bad. Uh, Full Moon uh, says, Mike Vates, have you released anything that you think after it came out wasn't very good, wasn't the best? The uh, iconic RDA. That's why I made the Rebirth RDA. That was like the V2 of that, but under a different company and name. I think the... I think the Iconic was probably the only one out of your bunch that really was kind of like, eh, you know. Yeah, that Big Red, that's funny because the worst pod system got the most views of any pod system. Yeah, ever. but why? If you'd have done that video normal, I don't think it would have got the views. That, but you're, you're on there, your thumbnails with a cop on there, and it, you titled it, How I Got Arrested With My Pod System or some <laughs> shit. Yep. You clickbaited the fuck out of that one, but it worked in your favor there, so. Uh, ooh, oh. oh, baby, it's rebirth time. Thank you, Ben. Thank you. Uh, you better you say it than me. Shit. I'll tell you something. When you haven't vaped something for a little while, and then you go back to it, you're like, oh, my God, why did I stop? Exactly. I've done that a lot of times. I've kind of sat here and I'll see something that's like been sitting on my desk for a long ass time and I'll pick it up and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to clean this thing up and re-wick it and give it a shot and be like, oh, fuck. This is the first time I'm actually vaping a Boule Bolu in an RTA. I'm usually putting it in drippers. I'm dripping it. It's actually fucking oh, good. Oh, shit, dude. That's all. I ran a bottle and some more through my Blotto and oh my God, that shit's good in there. Oh, yeah, baby. What are you fucking doing? Checking. What are you checking? I'm putting on something. Oh, God. There's no fucking... You... I want to see what my hat looks like with my wig on. Dude. has That thing looks like it needs a wash or something. <laughs> it looks like you got like some corn rolls or something coming out that bitch now. This is going to be kind of hard to do. Yeah, you got a lot of shit to pack up in there, kid. How many costumes you have? Dude, he's got a shit ton of them. I bet you actually leave the house with some of that shit on, don't you? Uh, yeah, there we go. Ooh. You didn't see much, Cheryl. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Dude. I mean, we're all right, the glasses. Now you need the glasses on. It's a party in my motherfucking house. Let me put these. I like these ones better. It's a party. Let me ask you something. I noticed you started wearing them. What the fuck are those in the first place? They're just costume bifocals. They're not real. Okay. And I was hoping for real bifocals, but they might hurt my eyes a little bit, so I just got the fake ones. They're a little small for my head, but they work well. Dude. Now I look like a child molester. Oh, I got to pull the hair. 
I swear, dude, if you had hair, that's probably the way you would fucking look all the time. Hair not fucking washed, big old nappy ass fucking head. Mm, yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll wash your kid for you. No problem. Bring him over. Mm. Hell yeah. Fucking, I love to babysit. They're saying you're fucking carrot top. I'm babysitter of the year. Oh, my Lord. Try with the fucking shades on. Howdy, everybody. I think the shades might be a little bit more appropriate for your situation. These are uh, sunglasses I got off. I think her name was Shaniqua. Yeah, a... I can tell those are some fucking... Those are some fucking gangster Walmart glasses right there. Yeah. These is, are... Is that one of those bags you buy that's like there's 20 pair and you get them for two bucks? <laughs> It's like five pair for 99 cents. <laughs> uh, ST, is is Blotto your top five RTA? You know what? I'm going to go. I'll say yeah, because I use the fuck out of it. I know a lot of people were like, well, man, that thing's pretty restricted. I, I actually enjoyed it. I've used that thing quite a fucking bit. But surprisingly enough, I think this year alone, I have done more of the jump into the mouth to lung thing this year than anything and got to experience like a whole new side to vaping again. And I, I'm not, I'm not pissed off at all about it. I've, I've really enjoyed it. For no. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Dude, I've got my chat like covered your window up. I don't even know what the fuck I just missed. Oh God, you don't even want to know. Was your fucking ass hanging out again? You're gonna have to watch the replay. Oh, uh, I might have to pull the fucking show because of him. Nah, you're good on that. Mm. There's no. He took his pants down, came up to the camera with the wig oh over my God. his trunk, showing that he like he had a hairy bush. You're fucking nuts, son. Ugh. Uh, no, I did not try the gata, but I also hear that was a pretty good one. I did not try that. Mark, did that t-shirt shrink? Yes, it did. I could see that. Mark, oh, never mind, because it wasn't that. We thought at first when he was opening the bag, we thought the Vaporesso might be a uh, t-shirt, but we found out <laughs> it was a beanie. Uh, that's a definitely a hard one for me to answer. Uh, best juice of the year. Oh, shit. That's tricky. That yeah, would be... That's way... Because there's been a lot of good shit to come out. That's yeah. also very... Is it considered very subjective? Yeah, that too. Very, very on that. So, I mean, anything that I say, y'all can say, ooh, that tasted like shit. <laughs> Enough. What's your best herbalizer <laughs> for 2019? I've got a custom packs machine that is fucking spot on. Thank you, Feed Arm. By the way, by the way, hold on. I want to give a big, big shout out to my man, Phenom Vapes. Can I go ahead and tell him, Mark, or you want to tell him? Um, tell him what, what he bought today. Phenom bought a new Apple computer setup, and yeah. I am not scared at all to tell you the price he paid. No bullshit. $53,000 for yep. an Apple computer. A new Mac Pro. I mean, when you got $53,000, you can just drop on a computer because you're bored. <laughs> you know you got your shit going on. Thank you for the donation there, David. Swearing. Uh, have you guys tried the Tesla, what is that, Shino 213 yet? No. I have not. I've heard of it, but I've not tried it. I have not tried uh, it. Can I answer a question? Yeah, take away, bro. Jane Perk, uh, I have no clue where to get the Rebirth RTA glass. But I've heard it with other glasses or tank glass, whatever you want to call it. Try eBay. Do a search on eBay. You might find it. Or on Fast Tech, you might find it. But try eBay first. Yeah, I tried, I'm sorry, one more thing. I tried getting replacement ones, but they stopped making it. So. Hold on, we got a comment, Chad. Um Jared's still cut his foot off for fifty three thousand. If that's the case, if you want to come on the show Sunday, let me know. 
Hell yeah. Yeah. I mean, but I, you ain't gonna get the money, but. Yeah, but just to go back, but for intake duels, I do have bubble glasses on the site, and I'm gonna have also some uh, bubble glasses for the single coil intake, also. Somebody just asked me about best donut flavor juice this year. I'll be honest, I don't think. I can't recall getting a donut flavor juice this year that was new. Yep. That's not to say that I didn't, but I've had a lot of juice come in over the past year, and I can't really think of any off the top of my head that were donut flavored, even though that very well could have possibly happened, but. No, I said the Nunu. See, right. I didn't even want to sit here and say the price that Mike spent because actually it's a lot more than what Phenom spent. Yeah, right. <laughs> that did shock me, though. I couldn't believe that he actually dropped that kind of money on a fucking computer. $53,000 for a Fucking yeah. computer, what are you, fucking nuts? Phenom, what are you going to do with that? I mean, are you about to run New York with your freaking Apple computer now? I mean, what's up? He got that so he could uh, wa- he could have a better uh, Facebook experience. <laughs> I'm going to prove to y'all right now. I want y'all to look in y'all's chat. Make sure you're on live chat. I want you to look at fucking Marvin Norton's fucking comment. He says, hi, ST, you old SOB. Mm-hmm. I've been talking to Marvin throughout this show, and he just realized that he's in here. That shows you how old fucking Marvin is. Thank you very much, Marvin. Oh, there you go. P- uh, people in chat that asked, whoever asked, PSS just wrote, if you want a Rebirth RTA glass, check out Gas City Vapes. They're from uh, Canada, which I've actually purchased from that site, too. Good site. Check them out. <laughs> Oh, shit. Y'all have lost y'all shit out there. T-Bone? Amateur Vapor said, looking for a sugar daddy right now, or right about now. Well? I know someone that lives right in your area. Oh, and he has- very close. Yeah, I believe he's in his chat somewhere. <laughs> and I think he makes good money, too. So He makes damn good money. I mean, money that would make you go, holy shit, really? Uh, <laughs> you got to your question there, Mr. Mike Vapes. Uh, stainless steel recurve duels. I could have sworn I had them on the site already, unless I sold out. If it, if it sold out, then no. Uh, Mike Vapes, is the intake duel better than the Rebirth RTA? For me personally, I like the intake duel better. I do. I will, I'll second that. And But there's other people out there, which I've seen and heard, that they have both, and they actually like the Rebirth RTA better. So <laughs> it all depends on. Amateur. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> you're older than you are, amateur. <laughs> uh, Adrian Daniels, I know, I know for a fact <laughs> that you're not watching this show and folding clothes at the same time. And if you ain't folding clothes, that wife's going to be all over your ass. Get off, uh, damn let me just go back to one more thing just to elaborate why. Uh, number one, uh, top airflow RTA. I know I don't have to ever worry, even though I don't worry, but I don't have to worry about it leaking. Uh, seven mLs of e-liquid with the bubble glass compared to uh, five. So just the, that right there makes me want to go with the intake tool but when it comes to flavor vapor production to me they're about almost the same i'll just say this if you want to see the best review on the intake duel just go watch my review on it i mean yep. you'll be like holy shit <laughs> clothes ain't gonna hang themselves you damn straight they ain't gonna hang themselves uh, <laughs> No, that ain't gonna happen because if that happens, uh, me and Mark gonna have some fucking words. Not allowed to get naked on ST's show. Uh, Well, you ain't allowed really to get naked on any goddamn show. (laughs) Uh, oh, by the way, uh, 
the Bule Bolu is so good in here in an RTA. Dude, I, I love it, man. It's you know what the funny part is? Mark said he didn't like it. It was he, two more. he bought two more bottles. Yep. Liar. I'm Mark, just gonna I didn't say I didn't like it. I said I was still kind of unsure about it. Mark, try try uh try it in the what do you call it? in your bulk RTA. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna... Try it, trust me. It's for some reason it's tastes different in an RTA than an RDA. It's, it's this is weird for me. I, I feel like I'm getting more better flavor out of an RTA. Maybe. It's good. It's just different. I think I just had to get used to the flavor. It's not that it's bad. It's just I gotta check my tracking number to see if it arrived. Vaping Bachelor. I'm glad you asked that question. He said, "When's your bulk revision review coming?" <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'm going to state this one more time on a live feed. As soon as Mike Vapes has it in his hand also, me and Mike are going to go live together. Yep. We're going to do build, wicking tutorial. We're going to vape. We're going to do everything on camera. You can watch us do it, and then we are both going to give you our opinions on the revised edition. Mm-hmm. But I can't do it until Mike gets his. And for some reason, Mark's got like 10,000 of them sitting at his fucking house. And he won't just dig one out to send to Mike. And he's screaming right now. I don't know what about, but our pa- my package is here from Hit That Juice. Ooh. But I need Angela to go to the mailbox because I'm busy doing a show right now. Oh, you're. It just came. Yep. Why did it take so long? I don't know. How how many days has it been in your mailbox? Probably a week. <laughs> You know my, what? That's what I need to try. I see Johnny saying the six milligram and that is fucking badass in the billet box. I, I think need, Big Red even says the same about the Bole Bolu. I need to get a higher milligram of that and try it in some uh, Mount the Long stuff. Which one? The Bole Bolu. I think they only make it up to six. But... Oh, six is the highest? Yeah. Eh, I don't know about you that. You should make a 12 and an 18. Yeah. I'll talk to them. See, but that one too, I wonder if it's going to, the flavor is going to be lost there a little bit with that higher milligram on it. But somebody asked me about what times the show end. Well, we're not really on any constraints because there is no uh, Phil and Dimitri show. I believe they're in France right now. So yeah, we'll probably go, we'll do a little overtime, right? Yeah, yeah. we do a little overtime tonight. Boule, boule. Uh, Terry says that he lives in your basement, Mark. Uh, I don't have a basement, but you could live under there if you'd like. I was fixing to say, how in the fuck did y'all get a basement? Well, the crawl space. The, like, <laughs> under the house, I guess. What have you, wanna... you ever been under the crawl space, Mark? Uh, I've been under. There's a bunch of stuff under there, like... Wait laundry. a minute, you actually went under it? You crawled under there? Yeah, there's a bunch of lawn chairs and outdoor shit out there. That's good. No, I don't mean bend down and grab what's under there. I mean yeah, go I, in. I, I had to run a electric line from the back to the front, so I had to crawl the whole thing. How and you, you didn't get... record that. That oh. would have been fucking awesome footage of you under in the crawl space. It was horrible. How did you get under there? A Very crane. Cute. Very well, cute. Cute. Now you the crane. I couldn't get up. <laughs> I got down, but I couldn't get up. All he, right. He oiled himself up with <laughs> olive oil. I, seriously, when you got underneath there, so you ran you ran probably a long cord, correct? Yeah. Which consists of you having to go from one side to the other a very good distance. So I had to like pretty much crawl my belly. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't you like on your belly with some little miniature hands trying to fucking move. Uh, Kind of like that. <laughs> Fark, Fark Megan in chat says, sponsored by Crisco. Damn. <laughs> I love Crisco, by the way. Thank you. Yep. Oh, Lord. Somebody was talking about the weather. Dude, we've had the craziest weather. No fucking lie. Last night at 8 o'clock, it was 70 degrees here. I woke up this morning like at 5, went out to my truck to get ready to go to work. I had ice and it was snowing outside. Yeah. No, 57 today in New York. Tomorrow, I think it's going to be six in a 61, and then it's going to drop again. Dude, this shit's been crazy. I'm surprised. I'm not like sick as a dog right now already as much as this shit's been going on. But It's cold as hell out here. It dropped big time. Uh, Turbo Tony, the, I did not run an Orn extension cord. Thank you very much. 
<laughs> well, was, hold on. He's leaving parts out. It was green. It was an orange. Oh, I seen oh, that. Shit, I Moxley. seen Moxley. I seen that shit. I got like a little update on my phone. They had a volcano erupt uh, right close to. Is was it close to where the uh, vape expo was at? Did well, they? anyway, right after the expo, a volcano erupted in New Zealand. Yeah. There you go. All because of what? Vaping. It, it, I'm surprised they hadn't come out on TV saying, oh, they had a vape expo over here, so the fucking volcano went off. Vaping may cause eruptions. That is... Well, Someone said I was wrong about the weather. Unless I'm like... I wonder what... Cause I I'm don't, off on my days, maybe. It's cold as fuck outside right now, because uh, it is... Hey. Oh, wait a minute. Today was the... Actually, it was yesterday and today. Wow. I totally forgot. Yesterday was actually warm, too, but it was raining. It's currently 19. It's 34 degrees here right now. Yeah. Tomorrow, it's going to be 40, and uh, they're showing snow. I guess for tomorrow night. Snow, snow, snow. My bad. Thank you for correcting me there. Ooh, Cheryl, I'm glad you brought that up, and I will say something about that in a minute. Hold on, let me catch what I, what was I just watching a minute ago. Oh, what is it, the first 48? You know, the little murder show and all that. I think it was in, I would just was watching it before I got the show started up and everything. It, it had to be a newer version of it or something like that, but it was one in New Orleans. So all the damn homicide detectives are standing there talking and they're kind of bullshitting and kidding around. Dude pulls out a fucking device and sitting there vaping up in the freaking little office there. And I was like, look at that shit right there. It's like, I'm guessing they can do that there because he wouldn't have done it on camera. But uh, it's you cool. Know, that's fake, right? What? It's, it's fake. What's fake? That show. How was that fake? probably like a movie set it's not a real police office no no no, no. that one's not because actually they filmed here before until they got fucking ran out but <laughs> uh uh yep that's right od one day it's warm next day it'll be freezing fucking crazy in new york but cheryl had just brought up and i know i think twisted did a video on this where that sh uh, show shameless was kind of like doing a few negative things about the vaping. Now, if you watch Shameless, I would stop. Yeah, watch, the, I wouldn't even. It was it was kind of like making some digs at. That's the, bullshit, man. Yeah, and that's all about like drugs and sex, like everything that's wrong with families, and they talk shit about vaping. Like he's what? like he's like take this away from me. I feel like I'm dying. Get the f no, yeah. you're not. Exactly. This is so. not what happens, you fucking idiot. So for them to put that in like a show, it's like there's there's a reason why they got put in there. It wasn't just to be like kind of funny or some bullshit, you know. There's some little inside things working there. Yep. <sighs> Fuck them. I got paid. Oh, Moonshiners is a good show. I like that one. Very true, OD. People that don't vape shouldn't even speak on the matter. How oh. true that is. Oh, Mark, update. I, uh, with the computer. I did, uh, my first 4K editing. Did it go a lot better? Oh, my God. Big Dude, difference. No lag at all. Yep. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. How so about, I don't know if we're... Is going to be 4K now or what? Yeah, tomorrow's video is going up 4K. Yeah, I'm doing. I think from now on, I'm just going to do everything 4K. Oh, uh, all videos 4K. Right. So you copied me on 1080 60. Yeah, that I can't. I'm not going to copy on that. That's so sure. now I'm doing 4K. So. <laughs> what I'm curious about is, we were just talking about this what night before last about computers, and all of a sudden, now you got a computer. That was fucking quick. What the fuck did you oh, do? Me? Yeah. Well, look, I, I, I fell in a rabbit hole. That's why with the weather, I got confused with the two days because I was in a rabbit hole uh, yesterday. From uh, the time I woke up, I was on videos, just watching videos on uh, do-it-yourself computers, building a computer. Because I was looking at getting a new, because I have my, my other computers, the Alienware, which is uh, four years old. 
I have the, uh, I had, the, oh, I still have it, the X fifty one R three Alienware, and never had issues until editing four K, and I realized that because the first four K video I did was the uh, top side, uh, this one here, the SQ, and the editing for that video took me maybe uh, three times longer than it would have been if I did it in 1080. But I said, screw it. I, I kept on what I then did was I was recording all my videos in 4K, editing them, and then uh, process, processing them, downsampling them down to 1080. So all my videos since the SQ, the top side SQ, I've been 4K videos, but on YouTube there at 1080. So I, it was just so slow, so slow. And so I, I fell in that rabbit hole. I was looking to see what computer I'm going to get, whatever. And I was looking at a new Alienware. And I was like, shit. And I was looking at prices, 4500 for the top one, with all the top sh stuff on it. And I was like, no, no. Then I was looking at another model for like 2800 downgrade. I was like, you know what? Let me do some research. Did research, whatever. And um, I went to uh, this place called Micro Center. And I sat there and I told him, let's build a computer. I told him what I did. He built one for me. And it came out to $2,000 for the PC. A hell of a lot cheaper. Yeah. So, yeah, this one, the one I have, I could do 8K with this computer here. Nice. I could do 8K. So, um, came out to two grand. And then he says, you know what? Let me check something. And he checked. And they actually had one that was just the same exact way I built it in stock, built already ready to go where I could have just taken it right away. And I was like, let me check it out. Check it. I was like, looked at the stats, everything. I'll take it. I took it. And it costed me, actually, it was, uh, the computer was uh, 2200 but they had a sale, 200 off. Nice. That day. It was on special, and it was their last one of it. And I grabbed it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'm looking at it right now. It's got all, it's got all the RGB LED lights going on in there. Folks, if y'all are having problems with your, uh, which I'll, yeah, y'all need to either refresh or click down there at the bottom right hand of your screen on what, if it's in HD or whatever. Sometimes, mm -hmm. sometimes the shows get kicked out because I'm doing 1080 right now. That's what y'all should be seeing yeah. us in. Uh, Lex, Lex is in the chat. Lex from, uh, Russia. Oh, Lex, what's going on, brother? He says, uh, there's no 8K content. Yes. There are new 8K TVs coming out, and there's also cameras that'll be coming out that'll be able to record in 8K. So that's I've basically future proofed myself for the future. There you go. Yes. 8K, holy fuck. And the, the one thing about this PC, obviously, people that know about PCs, when you build your own, you could upgrade stuff inside there easily. So that's like a I don't have to worry about going and purchasing a whole new unit ever again. Just keep on upgrading parts, whatever I need inside it. Go with the Logitech C920 HJ. Yeah. Wait for those on sale on uh, Amazon. Best camera, best web camera. Yeah, if, if you're just getting started off or wanting, to, not even really just getting started off. It's a it's a good webcam. Everyone uh, owns that camera. There's Phenom. Mike's buying the new red cameras for his new kind. Of, hell yeah. Yeah, well, uh, that's yeah. I know there's 8K like those. I ain't spending uh what do they cost? Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars. Those for red cams—they are so. fucking out the. They're off the chain. Be affordable uh, ones when they come out. That's what I mean. Uh, uh yeah, Phyllis, uh, Caliburn, get you Caliburn if you're looking for a good pod. I got a my the computer I got is uh, from uh, Micro Center. It's the Power Spec G four sixty five. G. Uh. <laughs> i9 nine, 9900k processor yeah, the i9 is the newest one i believe yep oh, adrian shut your damn please shut your mouth right now <laughs> look at look at cheryl she says don't buy the jones well, i mean which is it buy it or don't buy it 
Don't listen to Cheryl, folks. She has no idea what she's talking about. The Jones is the shit. You'll be jonesing for a Jones. Let me ask you something. If you wanted a fucking Jones, where do you, do you have to order it from China? Because I don't think there's any American places oh, carrying that shit, is oh, there? Actually, Element Vapor, my vapor store sells it. Really? I was, yeah, I was shocked. I'm like, wow, they sell it? I'm like, yeah. Wow. They sell it. That is pretty crazy. Get yourself a Jones, folks. Yep, Jones on. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, we've come to that point in the show that we need to do a little, uh, little business. So, since everybody's in business class right now, uh, we're going to do some Brad's business. Mm-hmm. So, for in order for you to get in on the business at hand, you need to be a U.S. resident. Sorry to say, but that's per sponsor. So, with that being said. As soon as I get confirmation, Mark has us a randomizer. I'm ready. Let Mr. Me. Mike Vapes, can I get a number, please? Someone said they got my computer on 8vapes.com. For so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 44. Reggie Jackson's number. All right, and what you're going to be getting tonight in the business class, Brad's is doing one of these. One of the <laughs> hair by Reggie. One of the Heracles pod mods. So you'll have you a little Christmas tree there going for Christmas time. Signed by Reggie Jackson, folks. Oh my God. You wouldn't believe who the winner is. Are we going to be like rigged as shit tonight? Let me take a picture of this because no one's going to believe it. Hurry up and take a picture because I I can really feel the hate coming off this chat. Yep. Let's go right there. Joke. First of all, before you show it, before you show, is there anybody that's won before on air? I don't think so, but you've been talking shit to him the whole night. Oh, God. No, uh, he's known for folding the clothes. Oh, God. You mean to tell me Adrian just won one of my freaking giveaways? Here you go. Adrian Daniels, number 44. Congratulations, you clothes folding fuck. Yep. There you go. He just proved that I ain't rigged. Yeah, well, there's Adrian's first, and uh, I don't know if his wife's even going to let him have it because I know she pretty much has the say-so around that high household. But anyway, Adrian, if you don't know what to do, I'm going to go ahead and tell you anyway. You need to contact me at stvapes72 at gmail.com. If you can... Shut up! Uh, the cat's going. Uh, if you can manage... To send me a photo ID without your wife knowing so she doesn't get pissed, I'll get you squared up there, sonny boy. So, uh, do they ship to the projects? <laughs> I, I'm out of this one. I'm out. <laughs> Damn, he just said, fuck her. I, I, you, you wouldn't say that if she was watching this. I might have to have a talk with her and tell her she got to start watching this show right here. So, all right, folks. Well, that is the end of this show. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope y'all have a good rest of the week. Don't forget to catch the vape team Thursday night. And there's no telling what you're going to get this coming Sunday. By the way, if you're a Ravens fan, which I know every single one of y'all are, Thursday night, if you're not watching the vape team, we're playing football that night. So anyway, we're out of Y'all have a good one. Smooth, smooth transition out. God, there's nothing more smoother than that right there. You gotta love that shit. All right, folks, we'll catch you next week.